Hello wonderful people, welcome to my channel. My name is Olivia and today I am going to show you how I styled up my H&M 90s boyfriend jeans. Okay, so before we get into it, I just want to let you know that I think you should actually go up one to two sizes in these jeans. Reason being, they are listed as high-waisted and loose fit, but I found that they were just a little bit on the short side for me, and I'm actually a five foot seven. So I feel as though if you're about five foot eight and above, they may just be too short for you. So I went up one size. I wish I had gone up two, but um, I basically pushed them down on my hips to kind of give me that extra little bit of length. So just to let you know, and also I don't think they're available in the shops. I've never seen them in the shop before. Um, you probably will have to buy them online. Each time I've bought, bought them online, um, it always seems to say that not available in stores. So I, I honestly don't think they are. So now that we've got that out of the way, let me show you how I styled them up. So my first look, I styled up this H&M um, red and black jacket. It's nice and warm actually, just in time for the spring. It's actually lined as well. And as you can see in the cutaway, also popped on the scarf, which is also red and black, also from H&M. Um, this video is in by no way sponsored by H&M. Um, I just buy quite a lot from H&M. Their prices are quite reasonable. And I'm a member. I tend to get lots of discounts as well. OK, so as you can see in the cutaway, I'm also wearing a pair of all red. I think they're Peyton Jordan ones. So that's the first look. Hope you like that one. I think that's pretty easy. Throw on a jacket, put on a little scarf, nice pair of trainers. Any trainers will do. It doesn't even matter. It's red and black, but they don't have to be red and black. Something, you know, black, even white, still works. Okay, so that's my first look. The second look was this. It's actually a tuxedo. And I've added to it some embellishments because I think I've told you before, that's just what I do. So I've added those to it and I've popped it on with a pair of Jordan 11s. They were actually based on a tuxedo and they are black and white patent. So it kind of brings it up a little bit as well. But if you want to put a shoe or a little booty, no problem there. As you can also see in the cutaway, I am wearing it with a pair of Zara, Zara booties, which have like a gold um, chain on the front. So you can do that as well but see how nice it looks. Okay, and next, thought I'd pair it with a jumper. This jumper is actually from Stories. Again, it's an old one and other stories. It has um, a gold panel on the front, the back, and down the sleeves as well. It's like paint. As you can see in the front, it's a little bit shorter and the back's a little longer. I've actually tucked it in in the cutaway and I'm wearing it with a gold pair of Air Max 90s. And um, to amp it up just a little bit, I've put on a pair of platform leopard print shoes, which are actually Jessica Simpson. So, yeah. Hope you like that one. Again, you don't have to wear it with um, leopard print. I mean, I always, those are my go-to leopard print camo. I just love those prints. Okay, so yeah, you don't have to wear it with leopard print. I think anything will do. You know, in this sort of color palette, it really will work. Okay, and so next, I've told you before, and I'll tell you again. I'm constantly upgrading things, okay? So you don't need to ask. If you see embellishments and things, it's, you know, nine times out of 10, I will have done it myself. So yeah, so I did that one. I thought I'd go with the double denim look. So with the double denim, um, threw on, and I will always wear graphic t-shirts because they just complete an outfit. They just make an outfit so easy, even a skirt, put a dra gra graphic t-shirt on and away you go. So anyway, popped on my jeans with my denim jacket, again it's from H&M, <laughs> and, and yeah, it works. And I put on a pair of, I don't even remember what trainers I'm wearing. So with that look, I'm actually wearing a pair of um, ones, again, they're actually a teal colour. don't think it actually matters what colour you wear when you're wearing dun um, double denim. Um, the teal colour works, I found that every trainer that I tried on, all the colours worked, so I settled on the teal, because that one I never really wear that much, well I don't wear at all to be fair. Okay, so yep, yeah, that's that look, and I think that's the most easily created one. Who doesn't have a denim jacket? Next look. So the next look was this Zara 
cardigan. It's a full length cardigan. It's ankle length. It is so heavy. I'm going to have to hold it like a child. It's so heavy and it is also very, very warm. Pop that one on, as you can see, with a white graphic t-shirt. If you're wondering what's going on on that t-shirt, it's actually half Beyonce and half Mona Lisa. Um, I put this on with my um, light blue Jordan 5s. Um, yeah, light blue. The colour blue works really nicely with the with the jeans anyway. So, yeah, I didn't bother with a heel because I think by now you kind of get it, don't you? <laughs> so, yeah, so that was that look. Next up, thought I'd go with the same colour palette as Cardigan. So this is a cream linen oversized jacket from, you guessed it, H&M. Underneath, graphic T-shirt. It's actually a Run DMC one again, H&M. The um, wording is actually velvet, it's very nice. So yeah, pop that one on with my Adidas sequin. If it doesn't come across in the cutaway, those trainers are actually sequin, they're really good. They've got lots of colors in there, including purple. Works really nicely with that outfit, okay? So I hope you like that one. Just trying to give you tons of styling ideas. Sometimes you just think, oh, what can I wear with that? And you don't really, you know, you don't, find what it is that you're looking for. So I'm hoping to give you a few ideas that you can use in your everyday life. So next, <laughs> I styled up, it is basically a graphic t-shirt, but you know, we all love Bob Marley. Well, I certainly do. And so what I did was I cut the t-shirt and well, I cut it into the V and I added the diamantes round the side, round the back and the side, and I popped it over, popped it over, and then I put on my black and green Jordans. Now, <laughs> I'm saying Jordans a lot, I'm saying h and a lot. Video isn't by no way um, supported by anyone. I'm just talking about what I already own, what I already have in my wardrobe. So I'm certainly not sending you out to go and buy anything. I think you can create all of these looks with whatever you have in your wardrobe okay so I popped it on with my green Jordans and I didn't give you a shoe because guess what I'm sure you have some so I actually do have a diamond pair of shoes probably should have popped it on with those just to show you but um no so that's the look I left it I left it as that because for me this look is done <laughs> that's how I'll be wearing it the next time I do wear it all right so that's that Another jacket. This one, if it's not coming across in the cutaway, it's all sequin. Giant dog tooth. It's cream and brown and it's all sequin. So once again, threw on that graphic t-shirt that I love. And initially I put on um, these Jordans that I'm wearing in the cutaway. You can see they're brown and beige. They have that kind of color, color palette to it. And so that really works. But then on um, the other, um, the changeover, are uh, a pair of brown high heeled what are they? They are suede shoes from Gucci. So pop those on. Takes you from day to evening. And yes, sequins can definitely be worn in the daytime because that's how I wear mine most of the time, seeing as I don't really go anywhere at night. So yeah, so that's another look. And uh, the next look, well, you may very well have guessed it, but more diamante, more embellishment, more by me. Okay, so yeah, this is a tailcoat. I've added some embellishments to the front, the button, the sleeves, round the back, even got a little bit. Popped it on with my favourite graphic tee because it's Beyonce and the Mona Lisa. <laughs> and I didn't give you trainers with this, with this one, but I could do. I think you kind of get the gist right about now. So I put it on with a pair of platform heels by, um, they're by Casa, I say Casa Dye, it could be Casa Day. I've never met them. Um, so yes, yeah, so I put it on with those heels. They're actually um, leopard print, but it's like a gray, silvery type of leopard print shoe. So you know me, as I've told you before, camo and leopards, my favorite. Okay, so yeah, so that's the tailcoat. So, I like that one. And next up is this H&M look. It's a bodysuit with a polo neck. The bodysuit also has those um, thumb holes in the sleeve. So you can, you know, you can wear it all the way down to here with your thumb pushed through. And this is a 
shirt dress. It's actually almost almost ankle length, and I believe it's oversized as well. So yeah, that worked really nice together, as you can see in the cutaway. Pop that on with a pair of Converse trainers. The Converse trainers also have leopard print, and they also have a camouflage strip up the front. So yeah, for me, that really worked really nicely. But something else you could do with this, because obviously we are still in, we're still winter here. Actually, we've got storm brewing at the moment, and it's so windy. So you could actually pop that underneath your Zara cardigan, and that's the whole look ready to go as well, okay? So the other thing that I actually did with the, with that, with the leopard print, is to give you like a boot idea, because like I said, it's still winter here. And so the boots are actually from H&M as well. Those are nice chunky, cream colored boots. So yeah, they're also H&M, and I think that makes a really great outfit. So last but not least, I popped on this white, shirt it's actually oversized it's satin it's very heavy actually it's got like a whole panel in the back but yeah so it's an oversized white shirt can't really go wrong with that believe it or not i did nothing to it but i am planning to <laughs> did nothing to it but i do think it needs a few diamonds here and there to bring out the best in it so yeah i'm not sure if it comes across in the picture but it is really satiny and very shiny and it is quite oversized, as you can see. All right, so um, those are the looks that I've created. I hope you enjoyed them, and I hope you um, let me know which ones you like the best and let me know which ones you managed to recreate. So for those of you who are wondering what it is that I am actually wearing myself, I'm wearing this army surplus shirt, to which, you've guessed it, I added all the embellishments and a little army hat as well. So yeah, you know, this is what I do. So that's the back. And well, obviously you've been looking at the front for this whole video. So I'm going, I would like to take this moment to ask you if you enjoyed this video, please, please, please like, if you liked it, comment, only nice comments, please. And why not subscribe? Why not? Why not? So you'll get a notification of when I upload more videos and I certainly have more videos for you. So thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, let me know what you liked and I will see you again very soon. Take care. Bye for now.